Welcome. Hi. This is Luna. Lovely Luna. Moxie was in the last video. She's a sweetie. So you guys submit Moxie and this is Luna. So Luna's gonna be in the video and she's saying hi. We're doing, <laughs> she's always trying to kiss you in the mouth though. She's very specific. She's a Taurus, so you know how Tauruses are. Anyway, um, I'm liking the red. This week, so we're gonna do the, the tarot for this week with our Crow Tarot deck again. What do you think, Luna? Yeah, you think so? Oh, she's looking at something out the window. I'll probably do some videos on the view from my window. It's pretty cool. It almost looks like you could really think without knowing your actual surroundings that you're like in some state park or something because it's it, it's pretty cool, even though it looks like a river, but I think it's a sewage system, so it's kind of gross. Anyway, so we're doing the crow, the crow to a crow to row, like I said. The bottom of the deck, boom, we have temperance. Temperance energy charging the energy for this week. So this is for the week May 17th through May 24th. So that's the energy reading that we're asking for advice for. So I'm going to put Miss Luna down and then I'm gonna shuffle. All right, Miss Luna, Luna. You pretty girl. Her eyes are so full of light. She has so much light in her eyes. Can you see it? She's pretty. All right, baby. So you get down here. All right. And let's begin. Okay. Uh, let me tilt my camera a little bit more. I feel like it's at a weird angle. I really should have put it up more, but hey, whatever. This is real life, folks. All right. So temperance. Let's do some charging here and see what's going on. We ask a wonderful spirit, Archangel Michael, give us some advice for the week of May 17th through May 24th, 2021. Let's see what's going on in the cards for today. We're going to just do one card from the traditional tarot or the crow tarot that we're using today. I'm feeling no major arcana, but let's see. I could be wrong. I could be right. And we're going to pull. Ace of Wands. Like I said, no major arcana for this week. But the Ace of Wands is the beginning. It's an ace card. Aces are the beginning. They are the beginning of the suit. It's like the ace in regular playing cards. It's the number one. So the Ace of Wands, the first passion the beginning of passion. Wands represent fire. So this is just a small fire, the beginning of a large fire that's building up. So now maybe there's something that's new this week that is like a new passion that you're starting to um, build upon. And it's going to eventually be very passionate, but right now it's still kind of small. It's just the beginning. It's an ace. It's the ace of wands. Let's see what the, the book says here. Um, I'm still learning this deck. I'm still, you know, tuning in with it. But let's, I know for a fact that wands represent, um, represent fire. So it says the crow swoops from the sky and lands upon a wand, marking the beginning of a path. There you go. To a bright, shiny city in the distance. This card affirms that the crow is on the right road and opportunities for success are laid out before her. The blooming spring flowers represent a fresh start. Floating through the air are little white feathers, bringing the message that the Ace of Wands represents a new beginning that is divinely guided. You see that? Look at that, the art on the card. You see the feathers? So you might see some feathers this week. Feathers are a sign. You may, if you're looking for signs, you might see feathers. Um, you're looking out over a city. You're looking out over some type of a fresh new beginning, like I said. Um, and you're divinely guided. Know that at all times, no matter what, don't doubt the fact that spirit, God, the universe is not with you. You are always, always watched over and protected, whether you realize it or not. 
whether you resent it or not, believe it or not, it doesn't matter. Um, so it's best to tune into that energy and work with it. So let's see. So that's the energy for this week, the Ace of Wands. And it represents the beginning of a new new passion, something that's new, a new path that you're not really, really that passionate about, but you're very interested in it. You're very curious about it. Or it could just be a new endeavor in life that you are on, a new path that you're on, but you are on the right path. So look for white feathers to confirm, you know, maybe something that you're doing, you'll notice some white feathers on the ground. The second card for this week, I'm going to pull is from the Energy Oracle cards. So it's this deck. Um, I've had this deck for a really long time, and I also love the, the artwork on this, on these cards. It's just gorgeous. I mean, they're very, just a beautiful artist. Um, Sandra Ann Taylor is the, the deck, see? And, um, just a beautiful, beautiful deck. So we'll just do one card from this deck as well for the week. Um, I wonder if it's a chakra card. We'll see. And... Boom. Contract. Now, there's some type of contract coming up this week. Some type of a legal issue, a personal business matter, something that is involving legalities that will feature this week. But I like the fact that she's holding the scales of justice. Now, I have to say this about justice. Always remember, justice is not just about the courtroom. Justice is something that has existed before courtrooms were ever formed. Justice is, in essence, something that is in each of our conscience. To me, justice and fairness is God. Remember, God, the universe, spirit is fair. Everything is balanced and fair. Everything has its own duality and everything has its own inherent fairness, no matter what it is. So no matter what the contract is, no matter what comes up, at the end of the day, know that you know, things work out best for those who make the best of the way things th turn out and never lose faith in the fact that justice will always prevail, no matter what it looks like and no matter what other people say. Never lose faith in that because faith is what's powerful and faith is what creates miracles. So I'm going to read from the book and see what it says. And look at the bottom of the deck, there's the chakra. The first chakra, Archangel Michael. So this may have to do something with a contract that has to do your first chakra, Archangel Michael. Wow. Okay, so Mark, Archangel Michael is a very protective angel. He is, he is the guardian of earth. He is mentioned several times in several ancient books from the Bible, the Quran. Archangel Michael is um, the real deal. But dealing with the first chakra, which is the root chakra, the red chakra, hello, red hair, that has to do with survival. The root chakra deals with issues like fears of having enough to eat, having enough food, having shelter, having your basic needs met, those fears coming up. And the thing about fear is false evidence appearing real. It's challenging. I have throughout my whole life had to learn. And because I've went through it, I understand it now, but when I first started experiencing root chakra issues, I didn't know any better, so I was full of fear about it. But coming out on the other side of it and seeing how things always worked out as long as I kept the faith and kept doing the right thing and being a good person and not believing and finding joy even in the smallest things, things always worked out. So, you know, it's important to keep a good mindset. And like I said, remember, justice will always prevail no matter what and no matter what other people say. And that Archangel Michael is with you. Archangel Michael is with all of us this week. And he's always with you. You can always call on him for help when you're facing fears about something. But I want to see what the book says about this before we go. Um, Archangel Michael, the first chakra, the root chakra. It's called the root chakra. The color for the root chakra is red. So it's funny that I'm doing my red hair this week. I'm not doing reverse cards. So, you know, we're, we're not worried about the reverse energy because we're focused on doing things upright, okay? We're claiming upright, okay? Michael holds a beautiful globe of red energy at the first chakra, which is located at the base of the spine down here. This is a place where your sense of stability and security is stored. When this card is upright, it reveals that your energy is flowing freely regarding these issues. 
Even if you've had problems with feeling secure in the past, these challenges are beginning to be resolved at this time. And Archangel Michael is with you, with us, bringing us strength and personal stability. We are capable of taking action and moving forward on our path. So we're going to allow ourselves to feel faith in our own power and security now and always. Remember, disconnect from the matrix and the system of belief that there isn't enough security or stability. There is always more than enough. Lack and scarcity is not real. And you can subscribe to the notion that it is real and therefore create your own hell. Or you can subscribe to the notion that there is always, always, always more than enough. There's more than enough opportunities. There's more than enough money. There's more than